Hi everybody, this is Chris Schmidt from Grayscale Gorilla, and welcome back to the tr signal training. I almost said transform. Okay, so what are we doing? Uh, we're going to be talking about the custom tab inside of the modifiers. So this is the same scene we've been tinkering with, I talked about in the previous one. We just have a tracer that's tracing the position of these objects, and it's constantly moving off to the side, so we are getting visual feedback of the motion that we already did. So that's what we're dealing with there. Okay, so... Uh, we're going to go to our cube, and we're going to make a new signal tag. And just so we get the visual feedback, we are, of course, doing the Y position again. So, uh, of course, all the modifiers are adding on top of the base tab. We're just leaving the base tab at zero, so we don't have to worry about it. But this time, we're going to deal with custom modifier. So we can, it automatically makes a custom tab, and it automatically put in a value here, which is half of the base value. So we don't want that. We want maybe 500. So... Uh, this is exactly like the previous ones, but it deserves a little more attention because we get to draw our own spline here to have it repeat. So, what do we have by default? Well, by default, uh, it looks just kind of like the sawtooth from the previous video. It's just in a linear fashion, constantly going up on Y and then dropping back to the beginning and looping again. But we can draw anything that we want here. So, if we were to, say, maybe put this in the midpoint and then put this one at the midpoint... We can grab this and have it go up and grab this and have it go down. And now it should translate that shape pretty much on the screen. Let's have this loop faster. So I'm going to set our loop point down to 45. So it traps a little more. We can see the pattern a little better. So this should, you know, that, well, I mean, it's exactly what it looks like. Uh, if I grab all these points, I'm going to hit Command A and select all of them. I'm going to set the points to soft. Now these are softer. And now, now we're going to start getting arcs built into this. Now, uh, we're getting a little hitch there in the middle because I didn't put this end point and start point at the exact same spot. But you see, we've essentially drawn a sine wave. But there's so many things that we could do. We could, uh, you know, flatten these out a bit, and then we're going to get these little, these little bumps. Bump, 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 bump. So we can make uh, some heartbeat type things or draw any kind of animation that you want. Like if you had... Uh, uh, I, like I, I don't know. Like the example, I mean, the the point of this is that it's, it's an animation tool, so you can do whatever you want with it instead of keyframes. So we, this is all looping, but it doesn't have to. Um, you know, it, we we're not trying to make anything in particular. So yeah, that's actually pretty straightforward. Uh, just because it's in isolation, why don't we talk about the advanced tab again? This is how much it's being applied here. So. Uh, right now, it's at full power all the time, so what do we do? We can uh, drag it down, so over the course of, let's say, 200 frames, the power of this is going to fade out. So it's at full power, and you see we're doing our cool pattern, and then it's slowly fading out to zero. And then, of course, we can change it to loop, and then it'll keep doing this pattern again and again, or we can set the ping pong, and it'll fade up and then fade down again. We can set this to 90 frames, and now it's going to weaken and then get stronger again, and then weaken. So there's a... You know, it's pretty straightforward, but in this mode, you can draw any shape that you want and get the animation out of that. It's good for layering on top of uh, your base tab. But, of course, uh, you know, a lot of the motions are accounted for by the other modifiers. So, uh, okay, that was a fast one, but uh, I'd say that was the custom tab. Bye!